In order to persist the reordering, we're going to go ahead and create a helper method. So go in your viewcontroller.m file and find the pragmark helper methods. You can also use the drop down to find your helper methods like this as well, and it's a quick way to find the correct section. Well, we're going to go ahead to the bottom here. We're going to add a new method, and this method is going to be called save tasks. So let's go ahead, and this method is not going to return anything, and we can call this method save tasks. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an unismutable array, and we're going to call this task objects as property lists. Property lists. And we're going to set this equal to unismutable array alloc in it. And now we can use a for loop to iterate over our array of task objects. So we're going to be able to say for int x is equal to 0. And we're going to say x must be less than the count of our task objects array. And then we'll be able to say x plus plus. So each time we iterate through our for loop, we'll add 1 to x. Next, we can add to our task objects as property lists our property lists. So we're going to be able to say task objects as property lists, add object, and we're going to say self. And we're going to call our method here task object as property list. And we need to pass in a CC task here. Well, we can pass in our task name self. Dot task objects and we'll index into our array by giving it X. So there's quite a bit going on here. Let's just go over that one more time. We're adding to our inestimable array that we created earlier an object, but we know that we can only add property lists. So we're going to use our method here named task objects as property lists and we need to pass this method a task object. Well, how do we do that? We access our tasks objects array and we index into that using x, which we're getting from our for loop. So this is an embedded uh, method here. Specifically, we actually have three embedded method calls going on. And remember that the first or the most the inner method call evaluates first. So this evaluates, we get a task object back then we're able to call this method with our task object and convert it to a property list and then we're able to add it to our array. So once we've done that, we're going to be able to persist this information to NS user defaults. So we can write NS user defaults, standard user defaults, and we can set object and we can use our task objects as property lists and we can use the key task objects key. And then we need to synchronize this to NS user defaults. We can say synchronize. Finally, we need to apply this method save tasks. And where are we going to do that? Well, let's write this code in the method name move row at index path. So we can put this right at the bottom here. We're going to say self update self save tasks. And now that we're going to be able to persist this information, we can go ahead and run our application and confirm that this works. So we can press the reorder button and let's move task one to the bottom here. And now it should have persisted this information to NS user default. So let's go ahead and stop our application and we can rerun it and we should see task one appear at the bottom and it does now. So we're able to persist the reordering of our tasks.